Today we're going to be talking about loan amortization tables, uh, specifically with an extra payments added feature uh, within Excel. Alright, so a loan amortization table is super useful in determining how much principal or how much interest you'll be paying um, for a loan each month, um, or the lifetime of a loan, the total amount that you'd be paying, and, and so on. So to kind of start a loan amortization table, you need to know three things. You need to know the the loan, the loan amount, the, the interest rate, and the periods or the number of years that that loan is going to be lasting for, right? So let's say we want to take out a hundred fifty thousand dollar loan um, with a five point five percent interest rate over thirty years. All right. Um, so with this information, what we need to do is calculate the payment in order to start this table. Um, so we need to know the present value, the rate, and the number of periods, or um, in this case, that will be monthly. Um, and the rate also needs to be translated to monthly because we're trying to find the payments per month. All right. Um, so our present value, we know to be 150,000. Our rate is 5.5%, but we gotta divide that by 12 to put it into months. And then our number of periods would be 30 years, but times that by 12 to get 360 total months. Um, all right, so then for our PMT, we'll do the negative PMT function. We'll hit the rate, number of periods, and the present value. So over the lifetime of this loan, so over 30 years, we will be paying $851.68 per month. All right, so to start an amortization table, um, we'll start with a couple of labels here. We'll go with periods. We'll need to know periods, the payment, um, the, the interest paid. We'll also want to know the principal paid, the, and then we'll add an extra, extra payments function here. Uh, section there and then our remaining loan loan balance all right let's make this a little bigger all right and then we're gonna go ahead and center all this stuff all right so our periods we'll start with period zero one um, and we'll just go down to 360 scroll down here zoom zoom all right 360 so we'll have 360 periods because there's 360 months. So each period will represent one month. Um, and our loan balance will be for period zero will be $150,000. Obviously in period zero, the, you know, we're not gonna have any payments or interest or principal um, quite yet. So our payments are gonna equal our monthly PMT that we already calculated. So that'll be our monthly payment. Oh, we gotta lock, make sure we, we go ahead and lock this cell. Um, and we can just drag that down so it'll be each payment per month we know to be $852 essentially. All right, so the interest that we pay off this payment is calculated by taking the loan amount times the rate. All right, so of this $852 payment, we're paying $687 in interest. And the principal is just the payment minus the interest. So, um, and then for now, we'll keep our extra payments at zero, um, at zero dollars. All right, so then our loan balance is the previous month's loan balance, and we will subtract the principal, and then we will subtract the, any extra payments that we have. All right, so this is the remaining balance of the loan after the first month. And what we can essentially do is if we've done our formulas correctly, we'll need to go ahead and lock this. Um, we can drag them down. We can lock that and drag it down. All right, and then our principal, um, we can drag down as well. Extra payments, we'll just have all of that as zero right now. And then we will drag this formula down all the way. And we will notice that our interest decreases each month and the principal we pay increases each month, which is what you should expect. All right, so then if we did this correctly, at the end of month 300, um, 
360, you should have a loan balance of zero. So that way we know we did it correctly. All right. All right. So now let's say we wanted to know the total, the total interest, oh, the total interest we paid and we want to know the total, just the total amount we paid for this specific loan. So we'll go ahead and sum this column um, the interest column and we will have paid $156,000 in interest all right and the total amount we paid um, we can just highlight all the payments we made over the course of 360 months and determine that over 30 years we paid $306,000 to pay off this loan due to interest all right so that just goes to show the power of this interest rate when taking out a loan. Because if I were to reduce that by almost half to 2.5%, I pay nearly $80,000 less um, with a lower interest rate and much less interest, all right? Um, so these, um, so going over this quickly, this and right here, we'll highlight that yellow, those are inputs that you can change. All right, so let's say instead of $150,000 loan, I wanted a $180,000 loan. You know, it would recalculate the payments for you and recalculate everything for your loan balance, your interest and your principal and the total amounts right here. Um, let's say you want to decrease the interest rate. Obviously, that'll take effect. Those are simple calculations that you can adjust um, depending on what you're looking for. All right, so we have everything set up for you. Now let's talk about these extra payments. Let's say that in the fourth month we paid an extra two thousand dollars, and uh, we want to know how much how that will affect our total loan balance um, and the total amount of interest. So obviously we st this 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 will not be calculated correctly, um, but it will calculate the total interest correctly if we add extra payments. So we will have paid much less interest by simply paying $2,000 in month four. Let's, let's go ahead and scroll down and we can then determine what month we will pay off the loan. So you'll notice that it will start getting negative around month 348 and 349, it goes negative. So you can assume that by month 349, you will have paid off the loan entirely, all right? So these these other couple months you will no longer have to pay um, you will no longer have to make monthly payments because you already paid off the loan so you would essentially be saving nine thousand dollars nine thousand four hundred dollars by making an extra two thousand dollar payment in the fourth month all right so but let's say that we want to be a little bit more consistent let's say we just add an extra hundred bucks to our to the payment um, every month and so we can do the same, go through the same process. We can scroll down um, and wait for it to get negative. We'll see here within month 280 and 281, it'll start to get negative. So by month 281, we will um, have paid off the loan. So essentially saving 80 days of payments by just adding an extra $100 to that loan payment every, every month. All right, so this loan amortization table is just really useful in checking like, hey, well, if I have extra payments, how will that affect my, my lo the amount of the, the loan or the total interest I'll be paying? Um, you can also adjust these, these numbers to kind of determine um, in different interest rates and loan amounts and how that affects everything. Um, and so hopefully this was super simple and easy to follow along with. Um, go ahead, smash that like button and add a comment. If you have any questions or something wasn't super clear, hopefully it was easy for you to understand. And make sure you subscribe. All right, thanks everyone. Have a great day. Bye.